Hey guys, Steve Harris here. Let's have a look at this domain and see if we can't figure out what's going on. So this is the one in one domain dashboard. I've never been in here, so bear with me as I kind of figure out where we're going. Looks like your domain is cryomassage.co.uk. I'm just gonna check and see first if you have it entered in here correctly. You do, it looks good to me. So everything's good there. So the issue must be in the domain settings. So let's go into the one in one dashboard. This is what we're seeing for the cryomassage.co.uk site. So in the dashboard, I'm going to assume this is under manage domain. And within this page, let's see if I go down to adjust DNS settings, that seems right. Okay, so we've got our DNS entries here. One thing I want to do actually before I adjust these is I'm going to make sure the name server is actually set to one and one. So it looks like it is pointed to one and one. So we're all good there. Okay. So let's go through these entries and see what's going on. So first of all, I see an A record and it is not pointed towards our server. So if you look at our custom domain setup instructions, they give you two A records or two IP addresses to enter. And this at symbol just means we want these applied to the root, basically your domain without www or anything like that before. So looking at the dashboard, let me just move this into place. This setting is not going to work. So I'm just going to edit this record. First of all, I'm going to change it to be one of ours. So let me scroll down on this page where I can copy and paste those records. Okay, there's the first one. Let's copy that. Okay, paste in there and click save. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to add another A record. I want an A record. And let's get the second IP we need, which is right there. So the host name is just going to be the at symbol. Paste the new record in there and click save. And I actually noticed something as I was in that record entry. It seemed like it was trying to add records for www dot as well, which it really shouldn't be doing. So yes, it did actually, I can see them down here. It's trying to add an A record for www dot. We do not want that. We need a single C name entry for that www. This is not going to work. So I'm actually going to delete those out. Okay, they're gone. So I noticed that when I was doing this, I just glanced at the bottom as I was clicking save on the last one. Let me make an edit to this just so I get that option back. Yeah, it's not going to give me the option back. Let's create a new record and I'll show you what I saw. So if we create a new A record, you'll notice at the bottom here, once I make the record, there's this preview and it says preview for www. You'll see that it's trying to add one automatically. That's kind of a pain and it really shouldn't be doing that. So I'm just going to click do not add. So if you're entering these in one and one, just remove this option. That's kind of a pain. So I'm going to cancel that. Okay. So I've got my two A records. Those look good. Next we have this quad a record. Now this is not something we use and it can actually cause issues with our SSL certificates. So I'm going to delete it. Okay, we're good to go there. The MX records are for email, we don't need to touch those at all. So those are fine. Next, we've got the C name for auto discover. Now, this isn't going to impact anything because it's placed on the subdomain autodiscover.cryomassage.co.uk. So I don't think we need to touch this record at all. Next, we have this another of these quad A records, and I'm going to delete that out. Okay, so we're looking good. The last thing we need to do is enter the C name, which is an important entry for our service. So we'll go to add. Let's click on a C name. Host is www points to, we're going to snag the s.multiscreen site. Let's see, where can I get it here? Right there. Copy that, paste it in there. Time to live is fine and click save. Okay, so that's all looking good to me. We've got the two A records pointed at the root. We've got a C name on the www.subdomain and we should be good to go. So we'll just let this update throughout the web. Actually, you know what? Let's check it right now. We'll go to DNS checker. 
And let's see, if we go to cryomassage.co.uk, let's check the root. So without www, we're going to check those A records. So it looks like it's already pointed to our service. Now, if we check www and look at our C name, yeah, it looks good. It's already updated throughout the web. So the big test, let's copy the domain and let's try to go there. And we're good. There it is. So the site's live within seconds of changing this. And it's just a matter of lots of old entries that the domain provider put in. Some things they tried to put in automatically, which weren't helpful. You just need to make sure that your DNS file is nice and tidy like this. A couple A records on the root, C name on the www. That's it. Good to go. Thanks.